Hi, my name is John. This is my latest product, Nixie Pipe. Nixie Pipe is my modern day interpretation of the 1960s technology Nixie Tubes, which we may have seen. They're the cold cathode gas filled uh, glass tubes with elements that light up. So this project came about because I wanted a new clock for my kitchen, uh, a clock that also had an egg timer function. Kind of wanted to use Nixie Tubes because I like Nixie Tubes, I've used them in projects before. Um, but one of my projects, the Nixie Tube burnt out, so um, I was a bit annoyed about that and they're fairly expensive to replace and, and build um, projects with them. So I thought, you know, why not make a modern day version which doesn't require high voltage to supply, it doesn't cost as much and um, isn't as fragile, more flexible as well in terms of interfacing with other devices. Around the same time as deciding I wanted a new clock for my kitchen, uh, my dad showed me these that he salvaged from an old BT phone exchange. If you look down there, you can see it's layers of engraved, um, I'm not sure whether it's glass or some sort of plastic. Um, and the reason it's so long is that inside these glass layers, this one's been mashed up, that's why I took it apart, um, are actually forming light pipes um, driven by filament light bulbs. So if I take this one apart, it's quite an amazing construction. Uh, so these are the individual layers with the engraved numbers and letters on them. Uh, and then they get driven by these filament light bulbs, which there are, uh, I think about 12 of them, um, then driven by this um, interfacing plug at the back. So inspired by these modules from a telephone exchange where you've got multiple um, engraved layers showing numbers and symbols lit up uh, individually and wanting a sort of Nixie tube-esque clock with the depth that you get from Nixie tube and the warm glows you get from Nixie tubes but without the hassle associated with Nixie tubes. Nixie pipe is what I came up with. Um, called Nixie Pipe because it uses that light, light pipe technology to um, channel light through the transparent medium um, and then by engraving the medium that diffracts the light and causes the engravings to light up. It's driven by 10 individually interfaceable RGB LEDs so that you can then control which layer lights up and which engraved layer um, and which digit will then show up. They are modular, as you see I just took this one apart, these are all single modules and they're designed around the idea of having a master module um, which is features the microcontroller with firmware on it, uh, micro USB and also USB to serial adapter for connection from a host computer um, to set the display with sort of real time data. Um, and then these masters can then drive slave modules which don't have a microcontroller or the USB, they've only got interfacing for the electrical connection. Um, they mechanically connect at the back and also electrically connect at the bottom. So they can be hot plugged like that. Then the master also features these little pills on the front, which are in fact touch buttons. So you can increment or decrement in this mode. But I've used these on my clock for the egg timer that I wanted in the first place. And setting the clock, setting colours, things like that. The idea is that people could use them for um, whatever use they can think of. So here are the modules running as a clock, as I originally designed, uh, running at 60 times so that it's changing every second, the minutes rather than every uh, minute. Um, it's a real time clock on board so that you just have to plug it into a wall charger from the USB port and it will do its own thing. Here I'm showing the counter function, which is the original design requirement as an egg timer. Press the button on the left hand side and you can enter the counting setting mode where you can increment seconds and from there it will count down and show you when they've elapsed. Here it's showing the timer getting below 10 seconds so it turns red. So sort of visual indication, your egg's almost done. Uh, once it gets to zero seconds it will then flash red for 30 seconds or until you cancel the display. So here's the other use for the buttons on the clock firmware, um, setting the time, press the right hand button and then you can increment and decrement with the buttons either side, wait for a minute and then it will set. The clock firmware actually features a fade effect to um, emulate the uh, natural decay of the sort of filament lights on a Nixie tube, so here I'm able to set the colour as well by holding down the right hand button. 
So the design features a 80 mega 328 uh, microcontroller, which for those that don't know is the Arduino microcontroller. So the firmware is fully Arduino compatible, and here you can see you can actually drive it without a microcontroller master unit, straight from an Arduino, where I'm reading an analog voltage uh, and setting it on the display. So there's a, a library available for this. Uh, demo some of the Python package functions um, of the pipe mixy pipe working over serial. Just change to the um, correct directory uh, serial examples. Um, <clears throat> so the Python package can basically write the numbers. Um, first demo I'll show you is the weather pipe. So I've got set up here. So this one grabs the weather from the internet, open weather map. Um, it then writes the weather to the Nixie pipe. So the first thing it does is it auto detects the Nixie pipe on the FTDI USB serial. So you see it's there connected to Nixie pipe version 0.1. Gets the weather, light rain, and then it writes that to the pipe. And it basically changes every five seconds. So six miles an hour of wind, five degrees of rain cloud, and then 100% humidity, so just to show it, you, know, you don't need a WIT um, 220 to uh, connect. You can also use any just computer. So I've got my MacBook, so plug it in with the USB. Wrong way up, as always, with USB. Uh, flip that over. There you go, it comes on. And then start Python. Um, I'll do a CPU usage one, which is pretty cool. So open CPU usage. It'll connect, find the port, connect as it's connected, and then so 2% CPU usage. It's probably right because I'm just sitting on my terminal. Um, if I open up YouTube, 40% just opening Chrome, uh, start playing a video. Um, why not USB 3? Don't have to worry about getting this plugged the right way up. Uh, okay, it's going up. Pretty cool. So this is another example of what you could do with the Python package. This is getting real-time stock market data for different symbols and then showing their prices on the Nixie pipe. So I hope you like my Nixie pipe. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, look at the links in the description below for more information and um, where I'm selling them. Thanks. Bye-bye.